Last week I showed you guys how to win over your hot neighbor through snowflake preservation, but I realized that I never showed you guys how to determine if your neighbor is actually hot. Today I'll show you how to construct a device that will let you see heat coming off your neighbor and thereby reveal their hotness. We'll be building a Schlierian system, an apparatus for viewing differences in air density that would normally be invisible, such as rising pockets of hot air. I'll show you guys some other cool examples at the end. Here's what you're going to need. A parabolic telescope mirror, minus 6 inches. Guys, shush, that's completely average, it's okay. But for this project, bigger is better. A camera. A telephoto lens. A point light source. I made mine out of a bright LED coupled to some fiber optic. And a razor blade or some sharp edge. Gather all your items and find a large open space. We want to create an optical path where our mirror focuses light from our point source almost directly back at it. A long focal length here is desirable, but it also means you'll need more space. Before we go any further, we need to understand how Schlieren systems actually work. Schlieren systems operate on the principle of refraction, that light will bend when passing through media of different density. Refraction is responsible for mirages, Pink Floyd album covers, and pretty much every microchip currently produced. You've probably even seen it in a kitchen or chemistry class as well. In a Schlieren configuration, refraction is our friend. When light passes through air of higher density, it refracts and passes to one side of our focal point. Likewise, light passing through less dense air will bend slightly in the other direction and pass to the other side of our focal point. Placing a razor blade at our focal point will block half the light, but otherwise leave our image unaffected. The consequence, however, is that light that refracted through the less dense air gets completely rejected, and light that refracted through the denser air gets passed. This simple effect leads to some pretty amazing results. When setting up a Schlieren system, it's paramount that the point source and focal point be co-located. Ideally, the focal point will be as small as the point light source itself. The further these points are from one another, the more likely your optical setup will be subject to an astigmatism. An astigmatism leads to a soft focus, which is especially bad for a Schlieren setup, where we depend on small differences in refraction angle to make all the difference. Also lasers. Once you have your optics tuned, all that is left is to align your camera, zoom in on your mirror, and make adjustments to the knife edge. This part can be tricky, as small movements have a big effect. You want an image that is dim, but not black. You'll know you've gotten it right when you see imperfections in the shape of your mirror. There, you're done. Now go find things to subject to your Schlieren. Neighbor hotness, in my opinion, is best visualized in a cold environment. So turn your heat off, lure, I mean invite your neighbor over for some freshly baked cookies and commence some friction heating. Have fun guys.